Hello, hello. Good evening. Oh. Hello, students. Good evening. Cada vez que entro a clase, yo les digo good evening. Eso significa buenas tardes, noches. De repente no contestamos good night porque good night es cuando ya nos vamos a dormir. Cuando termino la clase, les digo bye, good night. Porque según yo, ustedes van a dormir, ¿verdad? Entonces, cada que entramos a clase, yo les digo, good evening. Good evening significa buenas tardes, noches. Siempre lo ocupamos para saludar por la tarde, noche. Solo para saludar. Y ya cuando nos despedimos, decimos, good night. Okay. Entonces, cada día que entro, les voy a decir, good evening, students. ¿Y cómo responderían ustedes? ¿Cómo responderían ustedes? Si yo les digo, good evening, students. Alguien que, que me diga, ¿cómo responderían ustedes? <coughs> good evening, Teacher, if I say good evening, students, ustedes me responden, good evening, teacher, and that's the way we answer. Okay, so that's the form of answer. Good evening. Okay, vamos a hacer de caso que aquí no ha pasado nada, yo acabo de entrar a la clase. Good evening, students. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how oh, are you? Evening. <laughs> good Evening. Say evening. Evening. And how do you how do you write that? And you might say, teacher, pero cómo escribe eso? It is like this. So you say. Let me share it with you here. In this case, we say good evening. Okay, evening. Good evening. In the morning, you say, for sure, good morning. Then in the afternoon, you say, good afternoon. When you go to bed, you say, good night. Okay, so that's the way we answer. When we enter. The next question that I always say, la siguiente pregunta que siempre les hago. How are you today? How are you today? ¿Qué significa eso? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of how are you today? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Mm, not really. How are you today? ¿Cómo estás tú este día? Because the other one is... The other question sería, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Es, how was your day? Okay. How are you today? Is, ¿cómo te sientes tú? ¿Cómo estás tú ahora? Okay. How are you today? And in this one, for uh, this form, we have different answers, right? For how are you today? You can say, well, teacher... I, eh, capitals, siempre, la I siempre va en, en mayúscula porque se refiere a, a ti, a yo. I am good. You can say, I am good. I am fantastic. You can also say, eh, so, so, teacher. So, so. It's like, ay, teacher, bye. So, so, you can say, how are you today? Marvelous. Marvelous. It's like fantastic, beautiful, amazing, right? Marvelous. That's a way that you can answer. And you can also say, ah, 
doing good. That's another one that you can also use. You can say, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing good, teacher. Doing good means like, bien, teacher. Así como, por ahí, en español decimos, ah, pasando la vida, teacher, pero bien, todo bien. Doing good, you say. Oh, nice teacher. Doing good. Or you can say, <clears throat> a bit bad. A bit bad. It's like, how are you today? A bit bad. Imagínense que andan un poquito de catarro, cositas así. A bit bad. Un poquito mal. Say, a bit bad. Or you can say, I am sick. Estoy enfermo. I am sick. Okay, that's another form. How to express how you feel today. So you say, I am good. I am fantastic. So, so. Marvelous. Marvelous is like perfect, amazing, beautiful, right? That is marvelous. The next one, you say, doing good, teacher. Yeah, okay, a bit bad and I am sick. If I ask you right now, kids, if I ask you right now, how are you today? What will be your answer? Choose one answer. What will be your answer? How are you today? What is your answer? I am here and just getting my notes. Uh-huh. me contesta? Le puedo preguntar a todos. How are you today? Choose one answer. I am good. I am fantastic. I am marvelous. Doing good. A bit bad. I am sick. What would you answer? ¿Qué me contestarían si les pregunto ahorita? How are you today? Catherine Elizabeth, ¿qué me contestara? Escoja una de las respuestas. How are you today? You have all these options to answer. I am good. I am good, right? I am good. Let's see. Catherine, ask the question to Edwin Steven. Pregúntale a Edwin Steven. Edwin. How are you today? Edwin, how are you today? I am. Oh, I'm not doing good. No, te escucho. Okay. I see. Uh-huh. Yeah, we see. I am fantastic. I am fantastic. Good. Edwin, ask Ilse. Pregúntale a Ilse. Ilse, how are you today? Ilse, how are you today? I am good, fantastic. I am I am good. I am good. Okay. <laughs> you can say I am good. I am fantastic. You can use the two but separate, okay? Pueden usar los dos, pero las separan. You say, I am good, I am fantastic, okay? That's the way that you can use it. Ilse, ask Alma. Alma, how are you today? I'm fantastic. I am fantastic. I am fantastic. I am fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. I am fantastic. Alma, ask Tatiana. Tatiana, how are no, how, how are you today? How are you today? I am good. I am good, right? I am good. Very good, Tati. Nice. Tati, ask Antonio. Antonio, how are you today? I am good. I am good. Very good. Jose, ask Jose, please. Antonio Jose, ask Jose Reyes. <laughs> uh, uh, Jose, how are you today? I am good. I am good. Excellent. Jose Reyes, ask Joana Durán. 
Joanna, how are you today? The microphone, sweetie. El micrófono, John. Ahí está. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A bit bad. A bit bad. Really? Are you sick? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Okay. Oh, we're very sorry to hear that. Joanna, ask Christian. Uh, Christian, how are you today? I am good. I am good. Okay, Christian, ask Alba. Alba, how are you today? Uh -huh. Alvita. Tu Alvita, no te escucho. I am good. I am good. Okay, Alba, ask. I am good. Ask Alma Dalila. Uh, okay. Alma, how are you? To thank you. I am good. I am good. Okay, good. And Almita, you are going to help me to ask Leticia. Preguntale a Leticia. How are... Siempre se me olvida la pregunta. <laughs> How are you today? How are you today? I am fantastic. I am fantastic, right? That's beautiful. So now you know how to answer, right? Every time that we enter to the class, you are going to answer, right? Eh, Edwin Steven, qué lindo, ayudándome ahí en el chat. Ya, Joana creo que ya solventó el problema, ¿verdad? Ya nos puedes escuchar. Yes. Okay, good. Very, very good. Now, we are going to start working with something today. I need you to help me because yesterday we started the alphabet, right? Do you remember that we started the alphabet? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. We are going to go and work in groups, right? We are going to work in groups and we are going to do the following. I need you please, and let me erase here. Vamos a borrar la pizarra. I need you please to write on your notebook. Can you show me your notebook? Show me your notebook. Muéstrame sus cuadernos. Show me your notebook. 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 Penitencia, el último que me muestra el cuaderno. Vamos a ver. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, Antonio. No. Sería no es posible, no. Good. José, en your notebook. José Reyes. Ah, it's, ah, que tiene background. Ok, ok, good. A Leti no la vi. Leti, penitencia, el pollo, el pollo con una pata. Leti, Letistia, Letistia, no puedo ver tu cámara. Hello, Luz, welcome. So, we're going to use the notebook, right? You're going to use the notebook right now, right? El momento épico de la noche, ver a Antonio corriendo, fue lindo. <laughs> That was beautiful. So, on the notebook, you are going to write down the alphabet like this. All the alphabet. Okay. You are going to write it down. You are going to write all the letters of the alphabet. Like this. Okay. You have to do it on your notebook. Háganlo en sus cuadernos. Okay, you are going to write all the alphabet, okay? Let me know when you have it ready because we are going to use it, okay? Tiene que estar así para abajo porque vamos a ocupar el espacio para un lado. Write down all the alphabet. And let me know when you have it, okay? Ok, Patty no se podía unir a la clase, no sé si ya pudo. Patty. No, she's not here. Do you have it? ¿Ya lo tienen? 
Thumbs up if you have it. Dedo arriba si ya lo tienen. Yes. Good, yes. very good. This is a like. If I say thumbs up, eso es un thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up, it's dedos arriba. And I will explain you why. Because here, if I tell you, for example, thumbs up, it's this action, right? Es levantar el pulgar. Este dedo de su mano se llama thumb. And thumbs up, it's like dedos arriba. Thumbs up, es un like para nosotros. Hey, dame like, give me a thumbs up. That's one. Okay, that's the meaning. It's just for you to know it. Now that you have this, we are going to do the following. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? With your group, okay, you are going to work with in your group. You are going to write three words beginning with the letter of the alphabet, okay? But the thing is that I don't want you to Google them. No quiero que las busquen en Google. No creo que se vayan al diccionario. No quiero que las vayan. No, tienen que ser de ustedes mismos. You are going to be in groups of three. So you have to write the words. And for example, for letter A, you are going to say, okay, ah, important, no proper names, no nombres propios. Ana, Beatriz, no, 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 no. English words, okay? For this one, you can say, for example, um, with the letter A, you can say, apple, anthem, and advice. I have three, okay? Ya esas tres ya no las pueden ocupar, sorry. <laughs> Apple anthem advice. You have to create three per word, per letter, okay? Tres por letra, okay? Y van a trabajar en grupo. Prohibido andar googleando. Ay, ¿por qué molas en Google? No, 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 no. It's for you to create vocabulary. ¿Cuántas conocen? Hemos visto un montón de palabras en todos lados del mundo. So, Create, okay? That's the most important thing. Create, analyze, and study, okay? Prohibited to Google them. No Google, okay? So I am going to send you to working groups. Lo voy a mandar a trabajar en grupos de tres, okay? Tres palabras por cada letra del alfabeto. Sin Google, okay? Le pueden preguntar a su familia, le pueden preguntar a los de la casa, le pueden, a todo el mundo, menos a Google, okay? Mamá, dame una palabra con X. Ex novio, no, no, that's not, that's not a good word, okay? So you can help each other, right? Le pueden preguntar a todo el mundo en su casa, menos a Google. Ah, vamos a probar integridad, honestidad. Okay, let's create the groups. Uy, no, groups of three, no, no, no. Peter, yeah? Peter, uh, can you help me? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, sobre lo que vamos a escribir, según el abecedario vamos a escribir, una palabra segunda la no 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 tres palabras por letra ah tres palabras por letra <laughs> yes ah, okay. but you are going to be in groups por eso van a estar en grupos okay. tranquilos ah, van, okay. van a tener grupo ahí de la a a la z tres por letra okay. sin okay. Google sin Google le pueden preguntar a todo el mundo a la vecina no sé qué si su vecina es teacher grítele desde la ventana me nate ayuda Ayuda. Okay, there you have. Accept my invitation to go to the groups. And we are going to create. Okay, we are going to create. Everybody write. Todos escriban en su cuaderno, okay? Accept my invitation. Accept. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Almita, Alba, and Joanna. We are missing. Joanna and Alma. Okay, Almita, te llegó mi invitación, Joanita.
Eh, chicas, ¿les llegó la invitación para unirse al grupo? Alma, ¿te llegó la invitación? pero tenemos que eh, colocarla ah, pues entonces si gustan empecemos con la primera eh, letra y, y a ver qué idea tenemos cada uno o, o no sé qué opina yo sí con la letra A se me ocurre Angel lo pueden mandar al chat también, lo pueden ocupar el chat de la aplicación para que ahí las compartan y las pueden ir copiando a sus compañeros okay, okay. Okay. y si no empiecen con las otras letras con las palabras que sepan de las otras letras de la B book Book. Ah, very good, very good. Así lo vamos a ir armando. Muy bien. Continue, continue. Cristian, vamos, apoyémosle ahí. Eh. Wow. Yo Está bien. Yo voy a salir las últimas seis. Vaya. Okay. Y ahí va a tocar mi cual. Háganlas entre todos. <risa> Me sentí como en la escuela. Yo la doy por la tres y vos la cuatro. Ah, pues, no, porque gusta, entonces. todos la tienen que tener. Entonces después va a ser doble trabajo ah. estarlas copiando. Entonces, so, like... okay. Sí, sí. Ok, yeah, so you can say for letter A, this one and this one, for letter B, for letter C. You can use the chat okay. también. Pueden usar el chat para compartir. Eh, con B Blue Este Basic Basic Good, very good Basic Basic Se escribe Pueden ocupar el chat para B A B A S S I C Basic Very good Hey, nice Joanna Very good job Ese es usar todos los recursos de la, Los recursos existentes That's nice. pretty awesome Poner los demás <laughs> Ahí está la teacher, no creo que no. Con la T sería tomato. Tomato. Ah, tomate, exacto. Y ese seguro que así se escribe, tomato. No así sé todo. cómo se... Pero así lo vamos a pronunciar más o menos. Ajá, tomato, digamos. Ajá. Eh, 20. 20. 
Digamos que es 20, no es, digamos un número 20, ajá, 20. Ajá. O tú, que es el 2. Tú, tú, ajá, que es el número 2, o sea, T-W-O. Ajá. T-W-O, es tú, o sea, 2. Sí. Y 20 se escribe t w T W E N T. You know how to spell? Ayer les enseñé a deletrear que es ese pecado. Ajá. So you say T W E N T Y. Or use the chat. You can use the chat so you can send the word. Ahí pueden usar el chat y mandar la palabra. So. Ajá, las caché, dije. It's okay, it's okay, Alma, but that's, it's okay. Okay. Hasta Kaiser nos está deletreando una, ¿eh? Nos <risa> está ayudando, nos está soplando. Escriban pulga, tío. <risa> Pero, continue, continue. Did you finish? Ya terminaron. No. I was I'm, like, what? What are you thinking about? Which one? ¿Cuál le falta? Uh, por la B, vamos. Ah, okay, okay, that's okay. Okay, continue, continue writing. Si no escriban las demás, las que las que se le vayan ocurriendo, si van si no llenen las otras si se les ocurre una con R si les ocurre una con S bueno, entonces, ajá con la e, L, ajá very good very good the idea is that you complete it right at least one two or three on each category okay. las que sean más fácil son las primeras que hay que terminar and then you can work with the most difficult ones. Go ahead. Continue working. I will come back in a moment. lo veo pensativo. <risa> dígame, dígame. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se escribe diamante? Diamond. Diamond. D I A M O N D. Diamond. D I M O N D. Diamond. Shine bright like a diamond, right? There you are, diamond. D I A M O N D, diamond. Excellent, Tati. Nice. You did it. You did it.
Hello, Janet. Hello, Janet, how are you? Hola, Janet. Estamos trabajando en grupos. Te voy a añadir a un grupo para que puedas trabajar con ellos, ¿ok? It is connecting with the audio. Ok, Alma Dalila, me la sacó el... Hola, Janet, ¿me escuchas? Hola, Janet. Hola, Dalma. Ok, Janet, estamos trabajando en grupos. Te voy a enviar a un grupo para trabajar, ¿ok? Eh, Alma, ¿en qué grupo estabas tú? ¿Con, qué, ¿Con quién estabas trabajando? Estaba con Isa. Y José Reyes. Okay, ahorita. There you go. And Janet, te voy a enviar a trabajar a un grupo. Necesitas tu cuaderno, por favor. Ah, dale a aceptar cuando te salga la invitación. Almita, te sacó. Okay. Let's go and check what's going on with the other groups. With the I. International. International, uh, nice. Yeah. Nice, international. Intelligent. Intelligent, Intelligent. Yeah. very good. Another one with I. Mm. Uh, it's a very delicious one. Chocolate, vanilla. It, um, infinite. <laughs> infinite, that's okay, that's okay. Yes. Infinite, infinite, okay. that's, okay. that's correct. But there is another one that is very delicious. Ice cream. El helado. Ice, ice cream. cream. Ice, ice, cream. Ice. ice cream. Ice also, right? Ice. Ice de hielo. Ice. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. Ice. Ice. Infinite. Very good. <laughs> I, I love this yeah. one. Very good. With J or I, no, J, uh -huh. no, J, 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 with J, juice, juice, I am helping you, come on, <laughs> Yo <aquí ayudo. laughs> thank you, teacher, <laughs> yeah, 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 thank yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you see, very, very good, very good. Continue, I will go and visit another group. Okay. Thank uh, you. Hello, oh. hello. Ya le explicaron a Janet lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? O no le han explicado nada. No, no me repitan.
Okay, so did you finish with the B? Okay, por la V, ¿no? <laughs> okay, okay, but that's good. <laughs> at, at least you are creating something, right? <laughs> Eso es lo más importante, que no se queden sin estar creando nada. Que siempre sigan, aunque sea anotando un par ahí. That's good. Con la N, no, nariz. No, it's very good. No. Lemon, very nice. Lemon. Lemon. Uh -huh. Lucky. Con la K, King. King, very good. Como Burger King. <laughs> hey, that's so good. That it's very, very good. You see, you know many words. Y ahorita, ay, no, no sé nada. Come on. No, 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 no. You know many Hola. words. Oh, oh. Con la what? Con la oh, orange. Orange. Very good. Orange. Orange. Queen también con la Q. Queen. Windows, también con la doble. Okay, good. Window. Fantastic. You see, you, you know many words. It's not just like, no, no sé. You have many new words now. Tiene un montón. Okay, continue writing more. Today. Which one? Today. Okay, today. Very good. Today. Okay, Janet, en el cuaderno vamos a ir armando todo el, el alfabeto y todas las palabras que van con eh, cada una de las letras. Okay, ahí que vamos a ir copiándolas todas. Okay, that's what we are doing. So we are about to finish. Nos quedan dos minutos, chicos, así que apurémonos. I will go back Thursday. Very nice, the days of the week. Fantastic. I am going to call students back from the groups. We have been working a lot there. Okay, people, we are missing only two minutes. Dos minutos. And we are going to come back. Yeah, I will bring them back. Welcome back.
Hello, Tati. Welcome back. Did you finish? Terminaron? Hello, teacher. Eh, al, algo avanzamos. Nos faltaron algunas que no, no se le vinieron a la mente. <ríe> Ninguna palabra que conozcamos. Ok, ahorita ya se van a dar cuenta que, que sí hay muchas. Hay un montón, ya se van a dar cuenta. You know, eh, in some cases, in some cases when we are working, we don't remember the words, right? Cuando estamos trabajando, no nos acordamos de las palabras. But then, after that, you say, eh, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's good, that was good, that was, I know that one, right? Ya cuando ya, ya pasó el ejercicio, dice, ay, este con T, esta con F, esta con X, esta con Y. So, we are going to check it right now, okay? I am going to ask everybody right now. Okay, examples, everybody, examples with the letter A. Si escucha uno que no lo tiene, anótalo, okay? Uh -huh. With A, April. April. About. Also. About, also. Answer. Answer, very good. More and and hormiga, right? And very good. Another one. And and right and you have and 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 you have many with the letter B. B. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Blessing. Blessing. Very good. Basic. Basic. Blue. Blue. Because. because, right? Book. Book. Excellent. Beach. beach. Yeah, the beach. The most beautiful place of all time. Blackboard. Okay, blackboard. You have also bird. Bird. Right, bird. 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 With the letter C. Cherry, Cops. cherry, cause coffee, coffee, corporation, corporation, right? We're good. Clean, clean. Case, case. Cell phone. Cat. Coconut. Coconut. Okay, with the letter D. Dynasty. Dynasty. Dog. Dog, good, very good. Door. Date. Door, date. Door. Okay, then that one you have day. Date. You. Okay. Dog. Another one with the letter with the letter E and and okay excellent excellent ecology ecology good study elegant elegant study no study comienza con S study excellent right excellent Elegant. Elephant. Elegant. Very good. With the letter F. Friend. Friend. Very good. Food. Green. Green. Uh, Green. Finger. Finger. France. Good. Fast. Fast. Fine. Fine. Fire. Food. Full, right? Full, full. That's good. With the letter G. With the letter G. Green. Good. Green. Blue. Garbage. Garbage. Good. Glue. Right? Glue. Glue. Good. Great. 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 También. Green. Uva. Green. Excellent. With the letter H. Uh, happy. House. Happy. Good. History. Oh. History. Very good. 
Hard. 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 Okay. Hot. Hot. ¿Saben qué significa hot? Como pizza hot. Hot es el techo. El techo de las casas. Eso es hot. Como el techo de las cabañitas. Eso es hot. Por eso se llama pizza hot. Es la casa de las casas. Oh. It's a hot. Okay, hot and also hot, right? We have hot as well. Hot. With the letter I. I. Bacon. Bacon. With I. Intelligent. Intelligent. Bacon. Ice cream. Icon. Ice cream. Okay. Infinity. Intelligent. Intelligence. Good. What is another one? International. International. Very good. <laughs> International. Infinity. Infinitive. Very good. Infinitive. Fantastic. Infinitive. With the letter J. Jump. With J. Job. Very good. Jump. Justice. Justice. Very good. June. June. What do you do with the orange? The one that you drink. It's orange. Juice. Juice. Orange juice, right? Orange juice, very good. Let's see, justice, right? Another one with the letter K. Yeah. King. King, very good. Kilometer. Kilometer, very good. Kiss. Kilo. Kilo. King. Uh huh. King Kong. Uh, King Kong. <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. Toda en la guerra y en el amor todo se vale. King Kong. Yeah, King Kong. With L. With letter L. Lion. Okay, lady. Lawyer. Lady. Loser. Loser. Look. Look. Right? Look. Lie, lie, light, lion, lion, very good. Lemon, lemon, very good. Now with the letter M, M, Monday, Monday, good, Monday, Mother, Mother, Moon, Moon. Monster. Monster, very good. Man. Make. Men. Men. Make. 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 Excellent, very good job. With N. No. No. Number. Number. Nice. Nose. Nice. Right, we have many. Good. Nice. Night with the letter O with O orange orange very good orange another one ocean ocean good open 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 other other I have another one. Octopus. Do you know what's octopus? Octopus is pulpo. Octopus. Very good. Another one. Another one with O. With the letter P. People. People. Very good. Pink. 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 Photograph. Okay. 
photograph. Forward. Power. Power. Very good. Photographer. <clears throat> Photographer. Very good. Photographer. With the letter Q. Q. Queen. 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 Uh -huh. When you want to ask me, it's like, teacher, I have a question. Question. Very good. Question. I have a question. Quit. Quit is renunciar. Quit. Quit. Also, quick. Quick. Repeat, all right? Quick. Let's see. With the letter R. Rice. Rice. Rose. Ready. Room. Rumor. Ready. Ready. Red. 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 Read. Repeat. Repeat. Very good. With S. Saturday. Saturday. Star. Star. Sister. Star. Very good. Star. 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 Soon. Sun. Sun. <laughs> With the letter T. Tomato. Tomato tomorrow. Tattoo. Table. Tattoo. Table. Today. Training. Okay. Test. Test. Uh -huh. Test. Uh -huh. Trade. Intercambiar. Trade. Treat. 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 Very good. Treat. Text. Escribirle a alguien un mensaje de texto. Uh, With the letter U. Umbrella. Use. 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 Very good. Umbrella. Umbrella, yes. Unit. Unit. Very nice. With the letter B. Boy. Vitamin. Vitamin. Boy. Where? Okay, which one, Antonio? Boy. Boy. Ah, boys, boys. Very good. Boys. Uh -huh. Another one? Base. Base is Florero. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Victory. Ah, uh, victory. Victory. Uh, Another one with B. ¿Qué otra buscaron con Google? O no tenían con Google. Bye. With W. Work. Work. Window. Window. Uh -huh. Wednesday. Winter. 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 Week. Week. Wolf. Nice. Wolf. Very good. Wolf. With X. With X. Xylophone. <laughs> Xylophone. Yes. Xylophone. <laughs> Xylophone, very good. Xylophone. Extreme. X ray. Extreme. X ray. Extreme. En realidad, extreme es con E. Extreme. But X ray, it's one. Excellent. And with Z. Zero. You. Ah. Zipper, zebra, zoo, 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 zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, very good job. As you can see, my dear students, we have many different words with the alphabet. 
this is a very good practice for, uh, for this. Si de repente quieren practicar el alfabeto y dicen ustedes, quiero ver, vea, quiero hacer palabras, quiero hacer esto, esa es una muy buena práctica. Una muy buena práctica. Agarren todas las letras y dicen, bueno, quiero ver si me sé frutas. Hoy solo frutas, con todas las letras. And then you start, right? Only verbs. No solo verbos. Hoy solo adjetivos. And you can start writing. It is going to be very helpful for you. Okay? Ahí le tengo esa práctica para que la pongan ahí a trabajar. Let's continue here. Very good job. I am very happy. You see? Ay, no, teacher, yo no me pongo ninguna palabra. Mm, y tenemos más de 70, eh, o no sé cuántas más. It was a very, very good practice. Let me share my screen with you because we are going to work on this. So yesterday, we were working with the alphabet, right? And here you have a lot of different things. We have, for the letter A, we have alligator, bear, cat, deer, elephant, Fox, giraffe, horse, iguana, jellyfish, koala, leopard, eh, monkey, newt, that's like a gecko, octopus, pig, queen bee, rabbit, snake, turkey, unicorn, vulture. Vultures son los que comen carne. ¿Cómo se llaman esos? Buitres. Wolf, x-ray fish, yak. That it's a kind of a, a moose and zebra. All these are what? What is this category that I have here? What are all these? ¿Qué son todos estos? They are animals. Animals, animals, right? They are animals. Exactly like this, you can work on the alphabet. Aquí tenemos, ¿ves? son animales. Hoy solo frutas, hoy solo adjetivos, hoy solo verbos. With all the alphabet. And that can be a very, very good practice we're going to work a little bit with the days of the week right in some cases we have problems with pronunciation with the days of the week and we have here for example in the first one we have sunday sunday practice with me sunday 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 monday, monday. 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 tuesday tuesday, tuesday. 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 wednesday Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. 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 Friday. 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 Saturday. 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 Sunday. Sunday. Monday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Y escuchemos. No digamos Thursday, porque no va Thursday. Okay. Escuchen cómo es. It's Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So you say Thursday. Go with me. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Es que lo hacemos como T y decimos Thursday. No, no es con la T cerrada así. Tú, no. It's Thursday. Con la lengua entre los dientes decimos Thursday. Practíquenlo. Pongan la lengua ahí entre medio de los dientes. No se va a morder. Thursday. Y escuche la diferencia entre decir Thursday y decir Thursday. ¿Ah? Díganme. Thursday. Thursday. There you go. You see. Thursday. Okay. Thursday. En inglés, Thursday. En, en inglés la posición de la boca, la posición de la lengua, la posición de los dientes, la posición de todo lo que usted ocupa es muy importante porque va la diferencia entre un Thursday y un Thursday. 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 There you go, you see? Thursday. Escuchan la diferencia. Thursday. Escuchan la diferencia entre decir Thursday y Thursday. 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 There you go. En el primero decimos Tuesday. Ese sí es con la T cerrada. Dice Tuesday. Tuesday. Y el otro Tuesday. es Thursday. 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 Very good. You say Friday. 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 Saturday. 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 There you go. You say Sunday. 
Sunday. Sunday. Wednesday. 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 Okay. Wednesday. Se fijan, en ese caso, la letra que nos suena es la segunda E. No decimos Wednesday. It's Wednesday. 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 Today is. What Thursday. day is today? Thursday. Thursday. Yesterday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow. Wednesday. Friday. 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 The day Friday. after tomorrow, el día después de mañana, the day after Saturday. tomorrow, Saturday. 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 Your favorite Saturday. day? Saturday. 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 Your favorite day? Friday. Friday. <laughs> well, we have classes on Friday. Hoy los viernes es mi día favorito porque también tengo clases, así que Friday. <laughs> Friday, it's good. So you say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Practíquenlos ahí con el micrófono abierto o cerrado, but you can practice. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday. 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 Friday. Friday. Saturday. Okay, and Saturday. Saturday. Along with this, now that you know the days of the week, we are going to practice the months of the year. Okay? Ya vimos los días. Ahora vamos a ver los meses. Here we have the first one is January. 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 ¿Cuál es el error más común de todo el mundo? Decir January. No, hombre. Cada vez que dicen January se muere un diccionario. Ya, yeah. no maten los diccionarios, por favor. You say January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 Don't say August, porque no es Augusto, right? It's August. 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 September. August. September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 What is the month number three? March. March. Number three? March. March. What is the month number 10? Number 10? October. October. Lo que dicen que el mes 10 es diciembre ya andan con el aguinaldo aquí. October. Very good. What is the month number 5? May. 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 What is the month of right now? In which July. month? July. 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 Very good. July. What, July. what is the month for vacation? August. 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 August, December, January, March. We have a lot of vacation, right? Si algo hacemos en El Salvador es tener vacaciones. We love vacations. Okay. What is your favorite month? October. October. Okay. December. October. October and December. Okay. In which month is your birthday? In which month is your birthday? January. 
Yeah. Okay. Let, let me write it for you. So you say, my birthday is on... My birthday is on... Okay. Yeah. October. October, okay. My birthday is on... Vamos, right. vamos a arreglar un, un, un problema de toda la vida. En las fiestas, ahí andan ustedes cantando, Happy birthday to you. No, please, not anymore. No, birthday. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Ok, ahora puede decir que gracias a ti, Chernati, vencimos el verde. <ríe> sí, sí, vencí el verde. Hey, happy birthday, vos. No, it's happy birthday. Practice with me. Birthday. Happy birthday. Very good. Birthday. Excellent. Birthday. Tenemos otra vez el sonido de happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ok, ahora con total potestad va a llegar usted a cantar con propiedad esa canción. Que los demás digan birthday, pero usted, birthday. birthday. Okay. Ni, ningún alumno de Teacher Nat anda por la vida diciendo birthday. Ok, birthday. Ok, my birthday, my birthday is on September. What my about you? My birthday is on October. Ok, my birthday is on October. Thank you, Luz. Vamos, ¿qué más? Antonio. My birthday my is on August. My birthday is on August. Antonio? My birthday is on June. On June. Very good. Uh -huh. yeah. Todos. Todos me lo van a decir. April. Okay. April. Who is on April? Alma. March. Oh, it's in March. Uh -huh. Catherine? My birthday is on um, April. On oh, April, April. Tatiana? My birthday is on July. July. Jose Reyes? My birthday is on October. October, October. Very good. Edwin, Steven? Si tu micrófono no me quiere contar. No me, no me sale tu micrófono. My birthday. Ah. Ay, sí, ya más o menos estoy. Ajá. Ahora. Hoy sí. My birthday. 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 Ok, mire, aquí tenemos que tener cuidado. Bueno, ya todos son adultos, ¿verdad? <ríe> Les puedo decir. Si decimos, my birthday, beer es cerveza. No van a decir, my beer day, it's Friday. No. <risa> my birthday. Porque si me dice, my beer day, es su día de cerveza. No, right? And that's not, I know that maybe the birthday, the beer day, yeah, whoever, right? Pero no, tenemos que tener cuidado. My birthday is on April, June, July, etc. Joanna, when is your birthday? My birthday is on January. On January, okay? On January. Do you know in which day were you born? ¿En qué día nacieron? ¿Saben qué día nacieron? Saturday, yes. Monday. Uh -huh. Who knows? Monday. You were born on Monday. I was born on a Saturday. Friday. On Friday. Friday. Ah, ya traía la fiesta en la sangre. <laughs> On Friday. Very excellent job, my dear students. So, here we have, repeat with me, just to close with the months. January. 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 February. February. March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. June. July. 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 August. 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 
August. August. August. September. August. September. September. October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Very good job. Let's go here. Okay. We are going to move a little bit. Voy a silenciar a todos. Okay. Lo voy a decir en a todos porque vamos a explicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, estamos ahí. So here, we are going to talk a little bit about occupations, right? We are going to talk a little bit about occupations. An occupation, <clears throat> it's something that you do to make money, right? An occupation is also called a job, right? What is your job? What do you do in your job? Are you a mechanic? Are you a sewing a professional? Are you a secretary? What is your job? Here we have different types of jobs. We have firefighter, that it's a bombero, right? Astronaut, chef, engineer, nurse, soldier, doctor, farmer. So those are occupations. What other occupations do you know? What other occupations do you know? ¿Qué otras profesiones conocen? What other occupations do you know? Uh -huh. ¿Qué otras profesiones conocen? In English. Doctor. A doctor. Good. A doctor. A teacher. Um, journalist. A journalist. Good. A journalist. A journalist. Police. A police officer. The police officer. Which one? The police officer. What A manager. Other? A manager. Very good. A manager. What else? Singer. A singer, very good. Bet. A bet. Art. Art. An artist. Art. <clears throat> An artist. Okay, a sewing worker. Do you know what's a sewing worker? Un costurero. A sewing worker. A janitor es un ordenanza. A secretary. Okay. In January. Which one? In January. Ah, engineer. Engineer. Very good. Engineer. An auditor. Pilot. A, a supervisor, a pilot. Okay. What is your job, people? ¿Cómo se llama su trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que ustedes hacen? If you don't know, you say teacher, how do you say? Uh -huh. Si no saben cómo se dice su profesión, me dicen teacher, how do you say? Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say uh, auxiliar contable? Auxiliar contable. Very good question. In that case, we have auxiliar accountant. Auxiliar accountant. Any other one? Teacher, how do you say? Como decimos what? Coach. That's the that's coach is coach. Coach. Es como un entrenador. That's coach. Uh -huh. That's your job. Ese es tu, ese es tu puesto de trabajo. Coach. Teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, how do you say uh, entrenador de costura? 
Ah, sewing coach. Sewing coach. Teacher, how do you say mechanic? Oh, mechanic, mechanic. Say mechanic, mechanic. I think I have it right here. It's the third one. Es el tercero que puse. Mechanic. Any other one? ¿Qué otras profesiones tenemos aquí? ¿Qué otras cosas hacen ustedes? Vamos a ver. Ya tenemos a José, que es un coach. Catherine, what is your profession? ¿De qué trabajas? ¿Cuál es tu posición en el trabajo? Ajá, Catherine Elizabeth. Ser we working. Ok, Janet, you are? Ser we working. A sewing worker. Good. Hey, nice. A sewing worker. Joanna, you are a sewing co coach. Yes, um, sewing co coach. Nice, fantastic. Well, I, I am going to go for some classes, right? Yo voy a ir con Joanna para unas clases porque malísima para la costura. <laughs> Alma de Lila, what is your position? Worker. Sewing worker, very good. Catherine Elizabeth? Operaria de costura. Ah, so you are a sewing worker. Sewing worker. Edwin Steven? Yeah, ahorita lo escucho. Sewing worker. Sewing worker. Let's see. Ilse? Sewing working. Sewing worker. Luz? Operaria. Okay, sewing worker, right? So, ¿estás en costura también? Sí. Okay, sewing worker. Alba Leticia? Um, supervisor. Supervisor, good. Christian Ramos? Mechanic. Mechanic. Antonio Jose? Accountant, right? Antonio Jose, you are an accountant. Ahorita no puedo. Estoy dando el estudio y todavía estoy en mi clase. Janet. Pobre bichito, me lo está ayudando. Antonio Jose es auxiliar contable, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, Catherine Solórzano, what is your profession? Uh, swing worker. Swing worker. And Leticia Ortiz? Operaria de costura. Swing worker. So most of you, most of you here are swing workers. Right? Swing workers. Swing is costura. Right? Swing workers. Good. Very good. So in that case, you say, I am a sewing worker, right? That's the way you create a sentence. So you say, I am a sewing worker. I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. You are a sewing worker. I am a mechanic. You say, I am an auxiliary accountant. I am a coach. I am a sewing coach, right? That's the way you express the professions and the occupations, okay? And eh, antes de que sigamos con eh, este tema, voy a pasar lista, ¿ok? Before we continue. You can copy the professions, ¿ok? Mientras tanto pueden ir copiando ahí las profesiones for you to practice, ¿ok? Ya sé que screenshot le habían sacado, pero hay que copiar. <laughs> so, I need you to copy them. Copy them. Alma Quijano. I am present. Very, very good. Alma Xiomara. Almita Xiomara. Alba Leticia. Presente. Thank you. Ok, por aquí veo Almita. Ahí está. Ah, no, era Alma, Alma Dalina. Sí, I am present. Okay, good. Antonio José. Here. 
Cristian Mauricio. Present teacher. Edwin Steven. Present. Eric Eduardo. Eric Eduardo. I don't have Eric with me. Evelyn Janet. Evelyn Janet. Presente. Thank you. Heidi Yamilet. Okay, no tengo a Heidi. Janet Tatiana. Tatiana Galeas. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Heriberto. Present teacher. Jose Oscar Flores. Josué David. Let's continue here. Catherine Alejandra. La dos. Catherine Alejandra Juárez. Okay. Catherine Elizabeth Romero. Present teacher. Catherine Lisbeth Solórzano. Present. Leticia Magdalena. Present teacher. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Luz de Jesús. Present. Melvin Josué. No me dejo lindo. No me dejo Melvin Josué. Ok. Uh, Rosa Margarita. Rosa María Maya. Rosa María. Rosita. No está la Rosita. Joana Mariela. Here, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Eh, let me see. I have Alma Dalila. Alma Dalila Quijano Reynosa, right? Yes. I have it. Very good. En Alma Xiomara Candelario Aquino. Do I have Alma Xiomara? Almita Xiomara? No, vea. Aquí estaba. La confusión. Good. Very good. Let's continue with the professions and the occupations, right? And in here, we have... Did you finish copying? ¿Ya terminaron de copiar? ¿Puedo moverme de aquí? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So, I am going to just take a screenshot of this one. Here we go. And I am going to add another section here. And here we go. I am going to put it there. And I will erase everything. Let's continue here. In the next one, I have a couple of other professions, right? That maybe you can see in your workplace. Here you have maintenance. Maintenance is the person that is in charge of cleaning, organizing, and keeping everything in place. Let me just organize this one. Se me movió toda la vida aquí. I don't know what happened. Okay, let me see. Sorry. Me había movido, que está demasiado chiquito. Ahorita lo voy a mover. There you go. And in this one, I will make it a little bit bigger as well. So here you have maintenance. Maintenance is the person that is in charge of keeping everything in order. Es el que mantiene todo en orden. Okay. A veces dicen que la, la posición más importante de un trabajo es el jefe. No, yo siempre les digo que el más importante es el maintenance. Y usted me va a decir, ¿por qué? Él es el que carga la llave. Si no llega el de la llave, aunque esté el presidente ahí, no funciona. So, the maintenance is the most important person of the place. Yo siempre les digo que el que crea que el... Que el Ordenanza no es el más importante. Que vea el día que no esté la llave. Maintenance. The floor manager. 
the floor manager is the person that is in charge of supervising an area, right? That is the floor manager. You also have the supervisor. The floor manager supervises everything, right? El floor manager ve todas las áreas. El supervisor tiene áreas específicas, okay? The truck driver, okay? Are you good at driving, people? Can you drive? ¿Son buenos para manejar aquí? ¿Quién? Raise your hand. ¿Quién es bueno para I manejar? Can. You can. ¿Quién I es can. bueno? Oh, Joana, you can. Or can't. I can't. Ah, yeah, me too. I don't. I, I cannot. <laughs> right. Who is good for driving? ¿Quién es bueno para manejar aquí? Edwin Steven? No. Christian Ramos, you are good for driving. Ah, you are a mechanic, right? Tú eres, tú eres mecánico, ¿verdad, Christian? Sí, sí. Ah, that's why you are good with driving, okay? Pecado fuera que no fuera bueno para la manejada. Antonio, are you good <laughs> driving? No, driving. Edwin Steven? No. Más o menos. José Reyes, are you good for driving? Ok, no confiemos ahí. El, no confiemos el viaje en José. <ríe> en Christian sí, porque es un buen driver. En the ladies, de las chicas, ¿quién puede manejar? Más o menos. Yo sí, en automático y recto puedo. <ríe> Just like... Yo puedo, pero solo motocicleta. Ah, ok, another level. Of, of, ok, another level. A motorcycle. I cannot drive a motorcycle. No puedo andar ni en bici. Alba, Alba Leticia. Are you good at driving? So buena manejando. Um, so so. Ok, ok. Estaba así como José. Bueno, en un apocalipsis zombie al menos ya sabemos quién nos va a sacar de, del pueblo el carro. Alba, José, y pues yo me subiría en el de Cristian. <laughs> because he's the expert on driving that's good so that's a truck driver imagine if we are not good driving car si no podemos manejar carro ahora camión bye bye right truck driver no engineer engineer is the the brain behind everything right el ingeniero and the secretary that's also very important right the secretary in here we have a couple of words that are kind of hidden, right? Let's go with the first one. What is the first word that I have right here? ¿Cuál es esta? What is this one? We just studied them. In mm -hmm. engineer. 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 What about this one? Secretary, very good. Secretary, what about this one? Supervisor, very good. What about this one? Floor manager. Floor manager. What about this one? Drive. Truck. Truck driver. Truck, Very good. Truck driver. Truck driver. And the uh, last one? Uh, maintain. 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 Maintenance. Maintenance. Very good. Maintenance. That it's mantenimiento. Maintenance. Very good. So, from all these professions, de todas estas profesiones que les acabo de mostrar ahorita, which one would you like to be? ¿Cuál le gustaría tener a ustedes? I am a teacher, but I would love to be a veterinarian. I would love to be a veterinarian. What about you? A doctor, an engineer, a truck driver, a secretary. ¿Qué le gustaría hacer si no fueran lo que son ahorita? Huh? Engineer. Engineer. 
What else? Or who else? Mechanic. Meca mechanic. Alma. Te gustaría ser mecánico. Wow, yeah. that's so nice. I, I really like that because it's very interesting. Yo admiro un montón a los mecánicos que tienen una memoria para tanta tuerca, tanto tosa, tanta tornillo, tanta cosa que mueven. No sé, like. Yo llegaría donde el jefe y le diría, me sobraron estos tornillos. <laughs> no sé dónde van. <laughs> el motor en el suelo. <laughs> so, I, I, I would love to be a mechanic as well. ¿Es fácil ser mecánico, Cristian? Te cuesta un poco. Vale, pero ya tenemos aquí quien le puede dar las clases, mire algo. Sí. Ah. Cristian le puede dar clases de, de mecánica. ¿sí? Automotriz, industrial, ¿cuál es tu fuerte? Industrial. Industrial, industrial. ok. That's pretty awesome. What about you, Janet? ¿Qué profesión te gustaría tener? Doctor. Doctor, nice. Catherine. Which profession? Engineer. Engineer. Uh, let me see. Tatiana? Which profession? Engineer. Engineer. Ilse? Engineer. Engineer. Okay, we have a lot of engineers here. Jose? Jose Reyes? Mechanic. Mechanic. Antonio Jose? You told me engineer too, right? Engineer. Yeah, let's see. I am missing. Catherine Solorzano? A nurse. A nurse. Really? Are you good with people, with blood and all that? So, buena manejando gente, sangre y cosas así. Yes. Oh, okay. That's so nice. That's pretty awesome, right? My mother is a nurse, but I am, I am not good on that. Yeah, curiously. Yo puedo ver sangre y todo de animalitos y los curo y todas las cosas, pero de humanos no. <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> Mira, you, I would be like, oh no. Maybe because the animals cannot speak, right? Como los animalitos no pueden hablar, no pueden decir me duele, no me toca ni nada. Porque gato, perro, de todo, puro. Pero, humans? Mm -mm. No. And I am a teacher. Curiously, yeah, he curado de todo como docente, así que I think I have a little bit of a nurse. Let's see, who else is missing? Well, most of you want to be engineers or mechanic. That's, that's very interesting, right? I would love to be a veterinarian or a flight attendant. Una hermosa, me gustaría ser hermosa. I would love to be a flight attendant. Juice, soda, water. <laughs> in the flight that would be fantastic Eso hubiera sido también. i think it's on my on my next purposes so we're going to jump a little bit on the introduction for the topic of the verb to be you might be telling me i teacher el verbo to be lo he visto como 80 mil veces aha but it is important to manage very well these type of verbs because Later on in the life, we are mixing she are, I is, no, he is, they are, I am, right? The verb to be. It is very important to get to know it really well. And it says, I am very excited to learn. This is an example of a sentence with the verb to be, right? I am very excited to learn. Hemos estado practicando diferentes oraciones con el I am. Ayer, por ejemplo, estuvimos I am eh, 20 years old. You say, my name is, my favorite food is. Everything that we have been practicing is related with the verb to be. Okay, I am very excited to learn. In this case, I is the subject of the sentence. Ese es nuestro sujeto. I. What is the form of the verb to be? Am. Um. Very excited. It's the feeling, right? To learn, it's the complement of the verb. I have here a short description of it. And you have, I am happy. He is happy. She is happy. It is happy. You are happy. We are happy. And they are happy. 
in this case, we have examples with adjectives. Tenemos los, los ejemplos con adjetivos that are this ones, right? I am happy. But what about the names? You can use the name here and you can say, I am Nati. Okay. I am Nati. Yo soy Nati. He is Jose, you can say. Here. He is Jose. Okay. You can use it with a name. Aquí omitamos el adjetivo que tenemos de ejemplo, pero podemos ocupar también un nombre. You say, he is Jose. Right? And here you have a sentence with the verb to be. In the next one, you can say, okay, I am Nati. He is Jose. She is, and you can give me another name. She is uh, Ilse. Okay. She is Ilse. She is for ladies. He is for boys. Okay. It is Canelo, right? Estamos hablando de it, lo podemos ocupar con animales y cosas. O con objetos, right? So you say, it is canelo. You are, this is for plural, you are um, Stephen and Antonio, just to give one example. Okay. What about the next one? We are We are Jose. We are Natalie. Jose. Uh huh. Natalie and Tatiana. Very good because you include me, right? We are con we tu estás incluido, right? Jose. Jose Nati. And Tati. Okay, there you go. We are Jose, Nati, and Tati. Con we, tú te incluyes en la oración. Okay? Ay, me quedo movido ahí. And they are, and you can say they are uh, Mauricio and Jose. Okay? Te está refiriendo a alguien más. Vea, ¿quiénes son aquellos que están allá? Ah, they are Mauricio and Jose. Okay, you can use it like that. Who are they? Ah, we are Nati, Jose, and Katherine. Because you are included, right? I am Nati. He is Steven. She is Luz. Right? It is a cup. It can be an example, right? Using the people from the class. Usando las personas de la clase. Me puede dar los tres ejemplos. And we are going to make it different. Okay, lo voy a sacar de aquí para hacer los ejemplos. Okay, let me erase everything here. And I will erase this one as well. Vamos a borrar todo esto. Because I need the space. I need the space here. Here, we say, I am Nati. She is Catherine. He is Jose. Uh, okay, in English, no, I think that he is Jose. And they are Luz and Tati. Okay. <clears throat> Create examples with the people from the class. Armenme ejemplos, así como el que yo les acabo de dar con personas de la clase. The first one for sure is going to be I am with your name, right? Uh -huh. Give me examples. Hagan ejemplos con las personas de la clase. With the names. Or with people in your family. O puede ser con los de su casa. Give me one example.
Hi. Uh, teacher. Tell me. Okay. Uh, I am Joanna. Uh -huh. uh, she is Letty. Uh, yeah. He's Christian. And they are Nati and Edwin. Excellent. Good examples. Very good. Jose, give me your examples. I uh, I um Jose. She's Janet. She's Antonio. They are Alba and Alma. They are Alba and Alma. Very good. Excellent examples, Jose. Nice job. Who else? I need one more volunteer. Un voluntario más. Tatiana, go ahead. I am Tatiana, she is Luz, she is Antonio, they are Jose and Christian. Very good job. Excellent sentences and excellent examples. What happens, for example, if you would want to say that it's, it's a negative thing? So you say, no, I'm very sorry. I am not Nati. She is not Catherine. He is not Jose. They are not Luz and Tati. This is for you to make a negative sentence, right? It's the same sentence, but in negative form. And you say, mm, no, teacher, she is not Catherine. She is Luz. And then you change it, right? You say, like, mm, no, teacher, I'm very sorry. Se equivocado, teacher. She is not Luz. She is Tatiana, for example, right? When you want to make a sentence negative, in this case, we say not. Ay, se me fue <laughs> she, I am not Nati. She is not Catherine. He is not Jose. They are not Luz and Tati. This is for the negatives, okay? Affirmativo. I am Nati. Negative, I am not Nati. For the question, como haríamos la pregunta? Hey, are you Nati? Are you Nati? So like, yes, I am. Is she Catherine? Is she Catherine? Is he Jose, that's the form of the question, okay? Para la pregunta, si se fijan, ¿qué es lo primero que ponemos? El verbo to be. El verbo to be, exactamente. Después ponemos el... Pronombre personal. El pronombre y después el sujeto. In this okay. case. Are you, are you Nati? Is she Catherine? Is he Jose? Right, and in this case, for the negatives, I am not Nati. Okay, imagine that you are not that you are not very happy. So you say, I am not happy. Yo no estoy contento. I am not happy. She is not a teacher. Okay, you can use it with another form of sentence. Right, she is not a teacher. She's a doctor. Right, he is not a worker at the factory. He's not a worker. They are not friends, we can say. Y aquí podemos ir cambiando las oraciones. Ay, sorry. They are not friends. Ellos no son amigos, right? And then you can start creating different types of sentences. I am going to go back here. Yo la siguiente. And I am going to show you the negative form, right? Remember that the first one that I show you was like, I am happy. The negative, I am not. Okay, with the negative forms, you are not sad. 
exactly as the examples that I have right here. Así como los ejemplos que les estaba mostrando, with the negative, okay? After the verb to be, the negative, okay? This is for this type of sentences, right? I am not sad. And for the questions, you put the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Am I sad? Is he sad? Is she sad? Is it sad? Are you sad? Do you know what's the meaning of sad? Salen, ¿Saben qué significa sad? It's the opposite of, of happy, Triste. exactly, right? Triste. Sad, happy, okay? Are they sad? And they have it right here. So, for the different forms of the verb, okay? We have to be very careful with this, right? For the different forms of the verb, you say, for I, okay, for I, you use am, okay? I am happy. You can have it right here. Let me show you. Okay, so you say, for I, you use am. No vamos a decir I are, I is, no, right? For I, you use am. For he, you use is. For she, you use is. For they, you use are. For we, you use are. And for you, you use are. Okay, this is something that we need to keep in mind. No tenemos que confundir los verbos. No tenemos que confundir los verbos y ponerlos con otro sujeto. Porque, por ejemplo, no podemos decir, I is my friend. No, he are. No, he is, she is, I am, they are, we are, you are. Okay, so in the question, if I ask you, for example, eh, who's he? ¿Quién es él? Imagínense que yo les estoy preguntando por alguien de su casa. Who's he? ¿Quién es él? Díganme un nombre de un hombre que está en su casa. So you say, he is my father. He is Pedro. He is Josué. He is David. Whatever name. Okay. Who's he, people? ¿Con qué lo usarían? ¿Con alguien que está en su casa? Who's he? And you say, he is... Alejandro. He is Alejandro, okay? Another example? He is Carlos. He is Carlos, good. He is Andy. All right, there you have it. Ahí te está abrazando. Who's he? ¿Quién es el que te está abrazando? Who's he? Uh, Henry. He is Henry. Okay, very good. Okay, he is Henry. What about a lady in your house? Una chica que está en su casa. She is? She is Sofia. Sofia. Okay, she is Sofia. Another one? She is mm. Victoria. She She's is Victoria. Cindy. Uh -huh. Cindy. She is Maria. Okay. Good. She is Mar Marina. Marina. Okay. ¿Quiénes son sus mejores amigos? Who are they? Díganme los dos nombres de sus mejores amigos. Who are they? He is Marlin and Hugo. Okay, so in that case you say they are Marlin they and are, Hugo. Uh -huh. They are uh, Christian and Joanna. Christian and Joanna, right? And they are here. Uh -huh. Who are your best friends? Tell me the names they, of your best friends. Uh -huh. They are Letty and Ilse. Okay, Letty and Ilse, right? That's the that's the form that you use the verb to be. It is not really complicated, but the complication is when you mix the verbs, right? Cuando revolvemos los verbos con el sujeto y le ponemos otra cosa que no es, ahí sí nos complicamos con todo. So in this case, I have here, let me just move a little bit on the examples. Here we have the negative, the interrogative form. And we have a couple of examples. Anna is 10 years old. What is the next example? 
Am I? Am I a teacher? The next one. She is not very happy. Number four. My, My brother, brother is tall. And the last one. Are they, are they teachers? teachers? Are they teachers, right? Are they teachers? And as you can see, all these examples are with the verb to be. Anna is 10 years old. Am I a teacher? She is not very happy. My brother is tall. And are they teachers, right? There you have the examples. I have here, okay, I have here a couple of sentences and for sure a little bit of practice. In the first one, ¿me ayudan a leer el primer ejemplo de aquí arriba? I am Natalie. 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 El manual está vacío, no lo puse. I am Natalie. I'm Natalie, ok? La forma contractada. Am. I am. Am. Number two. You are, you are a secretary. You are a secretary, right? You are a secretary. What about number three? He is, he is an engineer. He is an engineer. He is an engineer. Ok, ahí vamos. Cuando estamos ocupando consonantes, okay, let me just make it silent, everybody, okay. Cuando estamos ocupando consonantes, decimos, he is a teacher, he is a secretary, he is a doctor. But in this case, this one is a vowel. Este comienza con vocal, engineer. Todas las profesiones van acompañadas siempre de a o an antes. Y en este caso, como tenemos vocal, tiene que ser an. He is an engineer. No podemos decir he is a engineer because you have two vowels together and that's not correct, right? Tienen dos vocales juntas. No puede ir a engineer. Tiene que ser an engineer, okay? She is a floor manager, okay? For the negatives, I am not Natalie. I'm not Natalie. You are not a secretary. You're not a secretary. He is not an engineer. He is not an engineer. She is not a floor manager. She's not. Okay. You have the contraction and the normal form for affirmatives and negatives. What about these ones? How would you make these sentences? ¿Cómo armaríamos estas oraciones? And here you have the subject and the complement. Alan, truck driver, it says. ¿Cómo armaríamos la oración para Alan? ¿Qué verbo necesitamos? Is, are, am. Um, Alan es hombre. Is. Alan is. Is. is, is truck driver. Driver. Exactly like I that. Drive. Acuérdense que antes de la profesión ponemos a o an, que significa un, una. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alan is a truck driver. Drive. ¿Y por qué no le ponemos an? Porque comienza con vocal. Exactly. No es vocal. Porque no empieza con consonante, porque no es vocal. Very good. Michelle, ¿qué verbo vamos a ocupar con Michelle? Is, Michelle is, is, she is a floor manager. A floor manager. She is a floor manager. He, he is not, uh -huh. is not a floor, floor manager. manager. He is not a floor manager. Very good. I, I am, I am, I am. An assembler. An, very good. I am an assembler. ¿Y por qué pusimos an aquí? Porque empieza con vocal. It begins with vowel. My boss is not maintenance. 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 This is a difficult word, right? Tina. Is Tina is an, an engineer. engineer. Okay. Tina is an engineer. 
Tina is an engineer. Good. Very good job. So, as you can see here, it is very important to remember, right? It is very important to remember when to use a and when to use an, right? An is for vowels. A is for consonants. Now, let's practice a little bit of spelling before we go. Spelling. Vamos a practicar de letreo antes de, antes de cerrar esta noche, en estos tres minutos que nos quedan. You say, how do you spell, how do you spell, como deletreamos, secretary? How do you spell secretary? S. S. E. E. C. C. R. 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 E. E. T. T. A. A. R. R. J. 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 Why? 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 Very good. Why? Very good job. What about truck? Truck. T. T. R. 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 U. U. C. 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 K. 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 Q es la Q. Okay. K. Very good. How do you spell maintenance? M M M A I N T E N N A A N M C C C Maintenance. How do you spell manager? Okay, yes, Catherine. Hola. Escuché un teacher. Okay, pero quizás era ahora otra teacher. <laughs> How do you spell manager? M M A A M M A J J E E Okay. R. Momento. Vamos a hacer la diferencia entre J Y N G J es J Y es Y en G es G ok J Y G ok M A N A G E R manager ok manager how do you spell engineer E E M E N N Okay, so why was I spelling? Mañana tenemos dictado, okay? Mañana vamos a hacer un dictado, así que traigo 20 palabras para ustedes mañana. Se la voy a dictar, pero así como estamos ahorita. Por ejemplo, yo voy a agarrar mañana una palabra y le voy a decir T. O M A T O T O M A T O Ustedes la van a copiar calladitos ahí sin decir nada. Porque qué pasa? A veces hago el dictado y digo yo T O M A T O Tomeiro teacher. Y el otro tal vez queriendo ahí medio analizar y no lo deja. Tomeiro, right? De ahí vengo y les puedo decir eh, C A T C A T. C A T. What is the Cut. word? Cat. Okay, I can tell you. P U R P L E. P U R P L E. Purple. Purple, right? I have this, but they are 20. Okay, let's try 20 para mañana. Practice the alphabet. Practice the spelling, practice pronunciation, okay? Practiquen el alfabeto, practiquen la pronunciación, and we are going to do this tomorrow. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I will see you tomorrow at 7 for your next class, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.